It's July 29th, 2021. You're looking at a Macintosh SE with a 160 megabyte IBM drive in it. The drive is getting a little noisy, so I want to switch to a silicon based SCSI drive. This is a SCSI 2SD. It's got a SCSI port, TV25, and it's got a micro SD card. So, what I want to do here is move a disk image onto this SD card and have it be bootable on this SE and it's a little more complicated than you'd think so here we go first thing I'm going to do is take the SCSI to SD and remove the micro SD card put it in the reader and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to completely wipe this sucker clean so that okay here we go we're going to format it as MS-DOS FAT so we're basically zeroing out the SD card and I'm just doing that so that we have no lingering files on the SD card because ooh, I'm surprised I didn't complain about that because boot blocks can survive all kinds of things like initialization for instance so now we're going to take the SCSI to SD over here and connect it to a MacBook Air open up the MacBook Air okay SCSI to SD is ready I'm going to write the conf well, let's look at the configuration first. General settings are pretty much default, except I've got SCSI 2 turned on. Terminator has no effect for this version. So then I've got SCSI target um, enabled at device 1 only. IDs 2, auto, 1900 megabytes. And so I'm going to write this configuration to the device. Okay, done. So we'll close up the MacBook Air. Grab the SCSI to SD. And now we're going to take the SCSI to SD over to the SE. So we'll carefully put it on the DB25 SCSI port on the back. And start up the computer. Next thing we need to do is initialize this drive that we just created. So we've got a SCSI drive, but it's not initialized for a Mac. And one really important thing to know about initialization is that it does not put boot blocks on the drive. So the first thing we're going to do is run HTSC setup 7.3.5 patched. You have to use the patched version, otherwise it will not see non-Apple drives. So SCSI device 0 is the boot drive. 2 is the volume we just created. It's thinking. Okay, initialize. Now say it with me. This does not put boot blocks on the drive. All right, 64H. OK. 
Cue the Jeopardy music. Okay, quit. Now, the most important step. So you see we've got the hard drive was on the desktop there. Open volume, drive, 64H, here we go, write boot blocks, critically important. Quit. Shut down. Grab the chip and the carrier. Oops, don't need the carrier or adapter or whatever you want to call it. Okay, here we go. There's our 64H and disk utility sometimes screws up if I don't restart it. So I'm going to restore a disk image. Uh, that's a Mac SE disk image that I'm restoring. And I'm restoring it to the drive that we have initialized and put boot blocks on. So here we go. Oops. And we're off. Here's the drive filling up with stuff. Okay, it's done, and I've got this um, crappy non-used system folder here. I'm going to throw that away. Okay, and also going to empty the trash. Yeah. So that folder contains something that doesn't want to go away. So I've got two option empty trash. There we go. Alright, so here is our disk. Okay, eject. Fingers crossed. Card goes back into the SCSI to SD. Look at that, it booted. It booted from the silicon drive, if you want to call it that. Um, let me fix the a couple things here and then we'll just run a couple programs just to make sure that it really works. Okay, first of all, mouse. That's driving me bats. The reason that I have to set all these things is because the CMOS battery is dead. I'm going to get it replaced by sending it to Yanni in Pennsylvania.
It is 3.59 p.m. Make that 15.59. Okay, so now we're all, we're good. So let's see if we can find some program to run. Oh yeah, eyes. There they are. So this was actually a desk accessory and you could keep this open. You can install this as a desk, desk, <coughs> desk accessory and leave it open if you want. So while you're working, you can have the eyes looking at you. Personally, I find it distracting. I wonder if I've got talking moose somewhere. I don't know. Here's Mac Wright 4.6. There it is. <clears throat> so anyhow, success. There is the SCSI 2 SD. We've booted from it. And I guess that's all I got to say about that.